Greetings to internet citizens and welcome to Python training. In this tutorial, we are going to configure Python into our operating system. And I'm using Mac operating system in this movie, but if you are a Windows user, you need not to worry about anything at all. Things are going to be exactly same, but still I'm going to make another movie in which we will try to configure Python into the Windows operating system. So you can skip this movie if you are a Windows user. And let's get started with configuring the Python into our Mac operating system. So we will do it like a layman. And the first thing that you might want to do is to visit on google.com and you might want to write Python over here. So first thing that you might want to do is to go on to the official website on python.org. So let's go on to the official website of python.org. And you can see that Python is all here. Now, next thing that you might want to do is to download the Python into your operating system. But here are two options to download for Mac operating system that Python 3.x version you wish to use or you wish to use the Python 2.x version. Now, there is a great following of Python 2.x version as well. But yes, Python 3.x is the most updated version. So you might want to go with Python 3.x because Python 2.x is outdated and there are a lot of troubles in Python 2.x. So if you are ready to deal with those problems and if you wish to solve them yourself, then you can go with Python 2.x. But in this course, we are going to follow the latest version of Python that is Python 3.x. But before downloading the Python 3.x, you might want to know that which version of Python is already there into your system. So for that, you need to go into the terminal and let me resize it a little bit. Okay, so by going into the terminal, you need to write here as Python. And here you can see that your Mac operating system is already using Python 2.x. Now Mac operating system always comes up with Python 2.x version, but you might not want to remove it at all because your operating system is using Python 2.x. But we wish to learn the latest thing out there into the market. So we are going to install Python 3.x. So as you can see that these three arrows are saying that, hey, Saksham, now you can fire all the commands that are compatible with Python 2.x version. But as of now, I would like to exit it. And here you go. And I would like to download the latest version of Python 3.x. So I'm going to hit download on Python 3.x. And let me just save this file on desktop. And this will take few seconds. And I'm fast forwarding the movie from here. So the Python 3.x is successfully downloaded onto my desktop. So let me minimize it and let me minimize my terminal as well. So I would like to double click on Python 3.x. And I'm going to have a look at the introduction. You too can look at it. And then let's hit on continue. And then you can read all the license and all of this stuff. And you can hit continue over here and you can read the license as well if you really wish to read it. And then hit on continue and you have to accept the license. So yes, I'm going to agree because I really wish to use Python and there is no other way. So this will take 105 point MB of space on your computer. So make sure that is free over there. And let's hit on install. So I'm going to hit over my password. Yes, this is what the beauty of Mac is. Its security is really up to the mark. So it is writing the files into my system. So finally, here is a green tick saying the installation was successful. And I need to close it now because Python is there into my system. Okay, let's check about it into my terminal. So to use the Python 3, I'm just not going to write Python. I need to write here as Python 3. So I'm going to hit enter and now you can see that Python 3.x version is also there into your system. We have not replaced our Python 2.x version because there are high chances that our operating system is using Python 2.x version. So you might face a lot of errors. So on my guidance, don't remove the older version. We can run Python 3.x side by side. So yes, there are three arrows and you can start operating with it. Let's say two plus two and you can see four is over here. So yes, we can start using Python three and we can start firing the commands related to Python three. But now the problem is that whatever commands that we are firing up isn't getting saved and it is into the terminal. When you will close the terminal, it will just go away. So what you can do, you can simply take any text editor 
or you can go professionally with some great text editors that are PyCharm, Eclipse and in this course we are going to use Atom because that is so lightweight and into the next movie we will see the beauty of Atom as well. So let's get started and explore about all the related editors that are famous for Python. This is going to be our homework for the next movie and into the next movie we are going to learn that how you can configure Atom with Python into your operating system. So that's it for this movie and thank you so much for watching.